Hello and welcome to my Ignite presentation. Today I'm going to be talking about my ideas for a film that I'm going to make about my friend Matthew Coombs who died of lung cancer in November. The film's genre is a mixed documentary. It is a participatory documentary because I am an active participant in the film. It is also performative because it uses a combination of styles to stress a subject experience and to share an emotional response with the world. What makes this film unique is that it gives a first-hand experience of someone who is dying, what they felt and went through. My main inspiration to make this film is the fact that Matthew wanted to make a film before he died and I don't want his footage to go to waste. Because of its content, this film is unsuitable for children. It contains a discussion with others rather than interviews. It's partly a vlog, as the film contains a combination of video diaries recorded by Matthew before his death and narrative links by me to fill the gaps. The introduction scene will be a medium close-up of me. I discuss how Matthew's illness started. He had an emergency operation to remove a secondary cancerous tumour in his back. Regarding ethics, I had permission for Matthew's mother to make this film, but I may need to get written consent. The intro music scene will be a combination of shots of Matthew's mother's garden and at Musgrove Park Hospital's Beacon Centre. The intro music will be Peter Pan's second star to the right. Garden ethics, I am aware of potential copyright issues of using someone's music. The next scene will be a close-up of Matthew after his cancer diagnosis talking outside the Beacon Centre. He talks about how smoking probably caused his lung cancer. Regards to ethics, I need to be careful about images of other people in the hospital without their consent. The next scene will be a medium close-up of me saying after the operation to remove the cancer in his back, it was arranged that Matthew would have five days of radiotherapy in August. There's then a close-up of Matthew of a happy moment where he is coming home with his friend Tim and having a Burger King. The next scene will be a mixture of close-ups of me and Matthew talking about the 18th of August, where Matthew had some friends round for a takeaway. Matthew gives a mini tour of his mother's house. The scene ends with me narrating over the pictures of that night. The next scene will be a close-up of Matthew. It's quite a sad scene where he is talking about how much pain he is in. He is struggling both physically and mentally. He has an accident on the bed and has to clean it up. Regarding ethics, should the accident on the bed be included? The next scene will be a medium close-up of me saying we had made arrangements for me to take Matthew to start his chemotherapy quite urgently. There's then a close-up of Matthew waking up saying he's got chemo that day. He is quite positive. We then cut to a hospital video saying things have gone wrong. There will be then another difficult scene of a close-up of Matthew where he discusses his pain. These video diaries take place between the 28th of August to 1st of September 2020. During this scene, Matthew addresses philosophical concepts. The next scene is a mixture of close-ups of me and Matthew explaining after several more failed attempts to take him to chemotherapy, he ends up back in hospital. These video diaries take place between the 2nd to the 11th of September 2020. The following scene contains close-up of me and Matthew talking about his transition from the hospital to the hospice. Regarding ethics, the hospital part contains voices of staff, so I need to be careful with this and might need to get consent from St Margaret's Hospice. The next scene will start with a close-up of me explaining Matthew left the hospice to return to his mother's house and stepped in the hospital bed downstairs. There's then a close-up of Matthew explaining he is finding it difficult to keep fighting. It isn't the physical colour of the film that creates the feel, it is the mood of Matthew. The following scene starts with a close-up of me explaining that I had to call an ambulance one night when Matthew's carers didn't turn up. Matthew had to go back into hospital. He was delirious and had a high heart rate. There was then a close-up of Matthew in his last video he made before he died. After Matthew's videos have ended, there will be a medium long shot of me talking to Matthew's mother Beryl about the end of his life. Regarding ethics, would Beryl be ready to talk about her son's death? Regarding safety, this scene taking place will all depend on government coronavirus restrictions. The ending scene will play a song by one of Matthew's favourite artists, David Bowie, with different pictures of Matthew in the background. Regarding ethics, I will need consent if pictures of Matthew contain other people in them. This documentary links to sociology because sociology is primarily focused on the issues of the living rather than the dying. Society hides death, it is taken out of public hands. People don't know how to communicate with the dying. I am therefore making this film to break these cultural taboos. Finally, 
I would like to dedicate this project in memory of my dear friend, Matthew Coombs. It was his dying wish that he could write, shoot and direct a movie that could compete with Steven Stilberg. I hope this documentary makes him proud.